I know, there's so, quite a lot, there's quite a lot to this one, like, structure-wise. And then, of course, you've got, like, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, post-chorus, post -chorus, you know. Track two off of the Silent Size in the Dark EP, I Should Know Better takes the unrequited desire that inspired your the inspiration and adds another layer to it. Here, talking about the need to move on and accept that the situation isn't going to change in your favour. It's all about believing, and sometimes just dreaming, that one day it will all work out. There are so many songs out there that are breakup songs that are about you wronged me and I'm getting my revenge or I've had enough or whatever. And what's interesting about Unrequited Desire is that the person that you have feelings for has done nothing wrong. Indeed, that's one of the hardest things to accept. There is no one to blame in this situation except for yourself. But even then, you know, you are not wrong to feel those emotions, but you do have to come to a point where you're ready to accept that this situation isn't what you want it to be and to simply find another avenue, find something else that might work out for you. Like on the Voice of Reason EP, not all five of the songs on Silent Size are brand new songs. There are some that have been knocking around for a few years. You're the Inspiration and I Should Know Better are two such songs. But indeed, the experiences that inspired those songs are very raw. And although it wasn't my intention to leave a long amount of time between writing and recording the songs, I think it did help me kind of look at the songs much more objectively and focus more on the, the technique, the technicality behind singing the melody, for example, rather than having these songs be a painful reminder of previous or recent experiences. The melody to Silent Eyes is really interesting. Indeed, I wrote it at a time when my ear is not quite as developed as it is now, and the melody kind of came about not by meticulously choosing out notes over certain chords, but more like just singing over the rhythm without really fully thinking through what pitches I wanted. I do feel like there is a, a blind creativity to this song that gives it a charm. And indeed, I don't know if I could write this song again. You've inspired on to A You've inspired me again I can't get you out of my head So what's next for the channel? Well, as a musician, I think my number one priority should be to make sure I have great music out there and available for you guys to listen to and I'm really proud of what I've been able to achieve with the Silent Size in the Dark EP However, I have to admit that my socials are not quite where I'd like them to be yet. Indeed, as well as YouTube, I have Instagram and TikTok. And so my next plan is to spend some time working on my image and making sure that I have good quality content that is worthy of being watched and being engaged with. I do have the next song in mind though. I have it recorded. It does still need mixing and mastering, but I have someone in mind who I think is going to do an amazing job in that process. And I hope that as we go into next year, I will really be able to push myself and my music up to another level. Guys, thank you for watching this video and for sticking with me if you have done in the past. I'd love you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I hope you continue to join with me on my journey through music. Take care. <laughs>